Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and today we're going to be playing some budget decks. Uh, we're live on Twitch today, trying out Twitch as opposed to YouTube, but all this good content will be available on the YouTube channel afterwards. Um, so today uh, we're going to be playing a mono red goblin cavalcade of calamity deck. So what cavalcade of calamity is, uh, basically it's an enchantment that whenever you attack with creatures with power one or less, you're able to deal one damage to attacking player or planeswalker. Uh, from there, what we want to do is basically have a bunch of cheap creatures uh, with haste. Um, so we have like Fanatical Firebrand, Grim Initiate, which when it dies, it leaves us with another creature behind. Uh, Tin Street Dodger, it's haste and it, got, it has pseudo unblockable. Uh, Shock is just general removal or burn. Uh, Goblin Instigator leaves two bodies behind. Um, both 1-1s one that can trigger. We have Legion War Boss, which is basically a stream of 1-1s one one that can attack in and then trigger. Goblin Gathering lets us create a bunch of tokens and it just scales the more that we play. Uh, light up the stages for card draw, Tybalt's to shut down life gain, and also has the benefit of creating some more 1-1s. One um, so the entire deck's uncommons and uncommons minus the 4 Legion War Boss, um, which you can play other 1-1s, one but War Boss is really good. It gets played in Mono Red, it gets played in Gruul, it gets played in the sideboard of Jeskai uh, Super Friends. So it's a really good card to have in your collection if you don't already have it. Um, generally speaking, these kind of decks are better suited for best of one I find, because something like Cryo Carnarium instantly kills us out of the sideboard. Um, so usually kind of pass with something like that. Um, so we'll play it through some games, see how it goes, and then after this I'll have a mono black aggro budget deck that I wanted to try out as well. Um, so we'll try out both of those. Um, if you miss anything from the live stream, you can check out the YouTube channel afterwards where we upload everything at MTG underscore Joe. Uh, so let's jump into some games. Uh, we played a mo uh, budget is it uh, Wizards deck the other day that's up on the YouTube channel right now. Uh, so we'll play probably going to put out, I'm hoping, 5 to 10 budget decks over the next couple of weeks. Um, it's kind of that point in the War of the Spark season where the defined decks are there, so want to kind of mix it up, have some fun. As we get started, waiting on our opponent to join. Let me know too in the comments if there is any uh, interesting budget decks that you'll be playing, or you've been playing playing around with. So here uh, we can Tin Street into Instigator into Cavalcade with two shocks if we need it. This deck's really just about getting as much damage in as possible. That card is surprisingly good against us. So no attacks here. If we draw another land, um, I may be inclined to just play the Instigator and Shock. We'll see what they come down with. Okay, so Paradise Druid. So this is a mono green ramp deck. Um, yeah, we can probably just attack with everything. They'll take a block there. It's unlikely that they... Oh, so they didn't fall for the block. So we'll just end the turn here. We have the shock, so we can shock the Paradise Druid if it taps. So this is the Mono Green Tron deck. Okay, so they have the Nisa, which is quite terrifying. Um, let's just get rid of the Druid now. can take him off a of land, thankfully. Uh, attack in. They may ramp out into something else. In the retrospect, he might have been better suited to hold back. Um, I think we just go face. 
I want to try to somewhat maximize the amount of damage we do. We're not going to win a long game against this deck. Let's see if they block. They do. We'll just take out their land here. So we're in a pretty good spot next turn. If we draw a war boss, if not, we have light up the stage as well. This becomes unblockable soon if we need to as well. will take out Calamity, which is pretty bad. Okay, so... This there, everything else at our opponent. This will let us light up the stage after. Ugin can make two twos, which is quite a problem. Just end the turn here. Flooding out a bit. have a wild growth walker hopefully they don't have an explore creature otherwise we're pretty much dead they can start poking us with these forests cavalcade we win by making this unblockable. It's interesting. They had the ultimate there. No blocks for us. Okay, so goblin gatherings, fine. It gives us more blockers. None of their creatures have defenders, so we're good there. And then we'll just throw out a gathering. And the turn. Just holding off the land to make it seem like we have something. We can cast whatever we have in our deck. Okay, so they gain three life, which is quite problematic for us. Makes it a lot harder for us to race. That Ugin came really clutch for them. Um, gonna take this one. I think we're dead regardless. We're at five life. We need to hit a cavalcade that turn. So five, we can block here, block there. The land shall come for you. This is one of those games where if you had a board wipe, you'd ruin them. So this has first strike, that has first strike, block there, block there, block there, block there, take two damage. So 
So we're still live to cavalcade. No. Didn't get it. So opponent got us there. So we'll run it through a couple more. So this hand's a bit slower, we really need to hit a third land, but we'll try it out, see how it goes. We're on the draw this game anyways. Okay, so we hit that, we have a shock for one of their early threats. This is Grixis, Let's see what they decide to take here. If we can stick the cavalcade, they basically don't have a way of removing it. Uh, Grixis isn't really good at getting rid of enchantments. Okay, so they take the war boss. Probably the one I'm least worried about them taking, only because Grixis has a ton of removal. So we're just going to get this down now before they can steal it. And then we'll start the... Okay, so they got Davriel. Let's tidy up. Uh, get rid of heart fire. So we'll dump the land here. I don't think you'll be needing that. So they know our hand. They can remove one of them, but we just need the attack trigger. Okay, so we got Grim Initiate. Attack like this. This wasn't part of our contract. I think we just tried to bolt here. These Grixis decks don't usually play um, counter spells. They're more like uh, just removal. We do need to watch out about um, Enter the God Eternal, which they might have here. Angrath. What do you take, Angrath? So they can take this, sack it, and then... No fire, no steel. Hmm. Probably just get rid of the shock. You need to get Angrath off the board. So this looks like Grixis, like, discard. Just be proactive about this. So we're hitting them for 10 next turn if they don't have a removal spell. Okay, so they got us with the ritual. So one of the reasons I like the uh, Grim Initiates, they leave a body behind. Grixis isn't really no. Actually, under the God Eternals, they won't gain uh, four life, which is good. They have the Ugin. Okay, so they go there. Um. Think we. Again, we're kind of forced into going after Ugin. We'll kill it, but they get to kill one of our creatures. Caution, mortals. I shall draw from this petty squabbling. If they want to attack into Tybalt, we'll let it die. Light up the stage would be good here. Terrifying. Will bend to my will. Oh, they copy Tybalt's ability. 
um, here. We just need two attackers going in there, so we'll attack like that. This is a nice thing too, we don't actually have to physically deal damage. They could pretty much wipe our board here though. They'll block here and then they can kill one of those. So theirs goes on the stack first, so we get the amass. I'm gonna hold off this land in case they draw like Thought Erasure. Yeah. Make them waste it on the mountain. So they're just trying to surveil into stuff now. Yeah, this is just Grixis discard. Okay, so I'm gonna do this to get cheap value off light up the stage. Cost less to actually uh, flip here. They'll take the block, obviously. Hopefully we get some action. Ooh, the shock's not bad. So we'll just end the turn here. I'm gonna hold off with the shock. I don't want to give him the card draw just yet. Okay, so we have Grim Initiate as well. So we're priced into using this now, if otherwise we lose it. They would have used Tyrant Scorn regardless, so sequencing doesn't really matter there. And then we'll just play out the Grim Initiate. Actually, they might have missed their step where we could have gone to attackers and got that ping damage in. So it's basically a 4 mana exile effect here, thanks to Tybalt. Blast zone. Okay, so if they're playing that, they can get rid of Calamity. We'll upgrade our Tybalt to get some more. The only thing to fear. My assistants are painfully slower. They do have to put... Oh, they put it up to three mana. Do they have Enter the God Eternals? They might have a Vraska's Contempt here. Should be lethal if they don't have removal. Alright, got him. Alright, so we got the win there. Beating Grixis, which is actually pretty sweet. We'll fire it up for another one. Okay, sorry. Just uh, so this hand's a little slow. We don't have a calamity. Let's try mulliganing. Okay, this hand's a bit better. Calamity on top would be good. 
Uh, we could probably get rid of a Grim Initiate. War boss is nice. Uh, let's leave it to Tin Street. Firebrand might be useful as removal. Um, so this looks like Black White Aristocrats. So here we can just go in for the damage, play light up the stage, okay we set up for next turn. Sorry, just want to get something going. Okay, so this turn, probably just want the instigator value here. Attack with all. Welcome to those tuning in live. How's it going today? Um, so we can take a blocker probably. Just get rid of the two power. The vigilance also. With the afterlife it they're pretty good suited at blocking. Okay, so here. Let's just get war boss going. So when you don't have out um, calamity, you're basically just like a really aggro deck. Okay, so they have the Mortify. We'll play out the Grim Initiate next turn. Or this turn, sorry. And then uh, we have Tybalt next turn. Ooh, Seraph. So let's do this. We'll light up the stage, see what we get. Okay, so we have a shock. So if they, okay, so they're not gonna block here. So I'm just gonna play out Tybalt. This can do to creature or planeswalker. Oh no, uh, any target. That's fine, they don't gain the life. So they'll get vigilance. We can heart fire to deal four to them, to ping them for one and then shock them. So, this turn's actually pretty cool. So we heart fire, target that. Oh no, wait. Heart fire, target them. Sack this. Deal one to Seraph. Use the shock on Seraph, so they will get two one ones. So we'll just attack in for one here. We have the first strike, so they can choose to block with both. They decide to just take it here. Alright, 
right, so now we got Calamity. Now we're now we're talking. A little unfortunate. But we're here to attack. I'm surprised they didn't decide to just mortify Calvocade. The Seraph actually did quite a bit, just in terms of card value. Okay, so they had the Mortify. They need an answer. We need some more board presence. Jeez. Who floods out faster? Tesa Karlov. Past turn. So this giving their creature tokens lifelink is quite relevant. I'm just gonna hold that back for now. Sweet, Heartfire. Got him. So we'll run one more with this one, and then we'll switch it up to the mono black aggro deck. Um, so as long as they don't have Cry of Carnarium, this is a very aggressive hand. I like having basically just a ton of 1-1s. One we go super wide. Wow, they mull to 6. So, them, they shocked themselves too, so they took some damage. It's quite a redundant hand. They'll if they take a gathering, it just powers up the first gathering. They might take an instigator. This may actually be the deck that has Cryocarnarium main. This looks like Demir control. So, they're digging. So they'll take our war boss here. So we got five power, six. I'm inclined to hold this in the event that they have Cryocarnarium just so we can refill our hands. Might have been right just to play Goblin Gathering. So they got God Eternal. At this point, we're just suiciding our stuff in. And then we can follow it up with another Goblin Gathering. Okay, so they have the cast down. <laughs> this deck's really, uh... Turn creatures sideways and attack. Do you have an answer? No? So we're all in. They need a another God Eternal. Okay, so they have Kefnet. Is that enough? It's not. So took down a couple cool decks there. Even without the Cavalcade, we were able to win some there. I think we went like three and one with it. So not too shabby. I'm gonna switch up decks momentarily. Um, so I'm just gonna close this one out for YouTube. 
Uh, thanks for tuning in to this one, and we'll be playing Mono Black momentarily.